So you just want a procedural way to control the recoil animation for a gun. Not a problem. So if you followed the last video, you probably learned how to snap lerp an object to a new position. And we can apply this to a lot of other things. For example, let's say you have a gun and you want the charging handle to snap back every time you fire the weapon. Well, essentially what we would do is we would tell the charging handle to constantly spring lerp to rest position. And every time we fire, we would set the local position a little bit back for the kick. So the blueprint for it looks like this, which is very similar to the standard spring lerp. But some of the changes we'll need to make are two vector variables, one for the original position of the charging handle and another to represent the actual position of the charging handle. From the event tick, make sure that delta seconds is plugged into delta time and we'll want to promote this spring state into a variable. From here, we set the recoil value and add it to the rest position, then set the relative location of the charging handle using the new added values. At the top under begin play, we'll want to set the recoil rest position to whatever it is when the game starts and you can use whatever button you want to trigger the fire. I'm just going to use V and all I'm doing is spawning the bullet particle that we created a few videos back. And of course at the end every time the bullet is created we'll want to set the X position of the charger probably around here. So just use whatever amount you want, 9 works well for me, but you can definitely make it more or less depending on your needs. You're done. Now every time the gun fires, the charger kicks back and snap lerps back to rest position. And of course you can control the stiffness, dampening, and velocity of the spring and turp node here. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.